In Mount Lake Terrace, at a local gathering spot, the doors are locked today. We saw they were closed and then found out what was going on this morning and just like was shocked. They said they were grieving the loss of Mackenzie and I, my heart sunk. Getaway Spirits employee Mackenzie Mitchell. Family members are sharing these photos of the 29 year old who they're remembering as a loving daughter, sister, aunt, an amazing mom. She was killed in a crash early Thursday morning. According to the Washington State Patrol, a 45 year old Seattle man who was allegedly intoxicated came off of an overpass and struck several vehicles traveling northbound on I-5 including the car that Mitchell was a passenger in. The wreck was so bad, lanes of traffic were blocked for more than seven hours. Jenny and Matt Doulis heard about the crash that claimed one life. That had no, no idea that it was going to be someone that we knew, knew very well and, you know, will be so missed. They're among the customers who called McKinsey Mitchell a friend. This is a place of regulars. This is a place of community. And we've known some of these folks for Years. going on 10 years. Yeah, years, so it feels like a family. She made a name for herself here, forming friendships with co-workers. They're really tightly knit, and I can only imagine how hard this is for all of them. Now the front door is filling up with flowers as customers stop by to honor Mackenzie. Her spirit and her warmth and her generosity. Just super pleasant to be around and was a great, great bartender, great, great server. She will be a light that we don't have anymore, and that's really sad. Now, the Seattle man police arrested is being held on $2 million bail. He is expected to be in a courtroom on Monday. Live in Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.